America's richest self-made women's list just dropped, and today we're going to be talking about the celebrities on that list. I'm Rosemarie Miller, and I have Marissa Delato, an entertainment reporter here at Forbes, joining me to tell us more. Thank you so much for joining me, Marissa. Thank you for having me. Yes. So how many celebrities are on this year's list, and is it more than last year? This year's list featured 15 different celebrities, you know, starting with Oprah Winfrey, who's worth $2.5 billion, down to newcomer, Sh newcomer Shonda Rhimes, who's uh, worth $250 million. So we have a very wide range, and it is less than last year. Last year's featured 17 uh, celebrities. So it's definitely getting tougher and tougher um, as as these people, the richest women in America, continue to make more money to make the list. Oh, yes, they are making money. So how much are they worth in total? This year is around $10.8 billion, and that includes three billionaires, Oprah, Rihanna, and Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. So you said some names that we know, but are there any other well-known names on the list? Yes, you're going to see Serena Williams, Celine Dion, Barbara Streisand, Reese Witherspoon, really a really wide variety. Everyone from, you know, entertainers, more singers, um, and really all these women who have entrepreneurialized their talent, their whatever they're good at, in a way to making money. It's very hard to make this amount of money in entertainment. Um, and that just shows you only 15 celebrities among a list of 100 um, so they have really found a way to to not only, uh, you know, get fame and notoriety with their skills, but really financially succeed in a way unlike all their peers. But they aren't when I when I hear Serena Williams, I know that the bulk of her money isn't coming from tennis. It's probably coming from something like endorsements. I'm just wondering, is that the case for most of these names? Is it coming from is their money coming from their main career or from other ventures? So for some of these women, yes, it is coming from, you know, what we know them for. From Oprah, it's coming a lot from her decades in the entertainment industry, from her own TV shows, from building the TV shows um, of people who followed in her footsteps, from her channel own, um, from someone like Serena. Yes, it's going to come from both her prize money from her winnings in tennis, but also her endorsements. And then you have the opposite end of the spectrum, which is Kim Kardashian, who the bulk of her money is not coming from, you know, what you would think like reality TV earnings, but instead from her companies like Skims. So Marissa, are all the women on this list well known? Has them being a celebrity really been what's helped them sell their products? And what they've done also is to, you know, like you said, they've taken, you know, what they've been known for. And they've also branched out a little bit. I mean, Ellen, for the past few years, has been flipping houses and flipping properties since her TV show ended. So, yes, they've started in their more, uh, you know, what we would consider them. Maybe we don't think of Ellen in real estate together. We think of her as a comedian. But they all have branched out. Oprah owns you know, dozens of properties all around the country, including in Hawaii. She owns several, several properties. Um, Shonda Rhimes, yes, yeah, she has so many TV shows, both on Netflix and ABC. She also has properties. So, you know, these women are being smart with their money. They're they're investing either in, you know, Serena Williams and Kim Kardashian have their own venture capital firms now. Uh, they're investing in real estate. They're creating and starting their own businesses like Reese Witherspoon, who uh, started her own production company. So, yes, they, you know, they got in through talent and now they're using their smarts to continue to get ahead. So what do you think the rise of the celebrities on the list says about how women in particular are gaining their wealth? I think what's been great about particularly celebrity women in the last few years of we've seen them branch out from just being known for one thing to expanding as multi hyphenates. We're seeing them want to branch out, try new things, uh, particularly in entrepreneurial spaces. We're seeing them, you know, start brands, start businesses. Um, you know, promoting themselves in different ways. And we also see just like an insane amount of hustle. And we see them not slowing down. I mean, Judge Judy is a great example. After she ended her show on CBS for like two decades, she started a new show on Amazon Freebie. And she's been doing that 
and she's continuing to create more shows. We also have Taylor Swift, who not only had like one of the, if not the biggest album last year, she's going to probably have one of the biggest tours of the year this year and just not settling, you know, even though they have all these women have insane net worths, money I truly will never see in my lifetime. They're not slowing down. They're continuing to pave the way for themselves, for the people who are coming after them. Um, and for us as fans, it's a great way. We get more avenues to interact with them through these different uh, avenues, like I've been saying. Uh, and for them, it's great that they get to try new things and not just be known as, you know, I'm just an actress. I'm just a singer. I'm just this. They're they're expanding what it means uh, to be a businesswoman, which is fantastic. I like that. I always tell myself these days that like you are you and you do a lot of things. You know, yes. I, I am not just a journalist. So <laughs> I like that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. Marie. Thank you for having me.